So I think that um, very often the way that government contracts gets in the way of service provider capacity. So if you take something like um, supported living accommodation in the UK, there's a desperate need for supported living accommodation. But local government has decided that it only does, that it only does spot purchasing. Now if you spot purchase something which requires you to build a building before you start, it doesn't work. And so nobody builds the buildings for supported living accommodation because they can only get spot purchased. So there's a lot around figuring out what the right contracting model is in order to build the capacity of the market that you're looking at. Uh, and then uh, the confidence that that market has that the government is in it for the long term and will pay sustainable levels and will not indulge in magical thinking are all elements that would enable a marketplace to grow. Um, the role of intermediaries in that I think is unclear. What kind of intermediaries? I think it would very much depend on the marketplace itself. Uh, and also the difficulty of making a service provider in that market. If you take training for example, actually you've got lots of very small providers in the training market, most of whom provide pretty dire training. Uh, what you're interested in is actually if you develop a more outcome oriented market where people were clearer whether organisations were being successful, then hopefully good ones would generate much more consistent revenue streams and be able to expand, and poor ones would have to do something else.